what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this thing under the drone like this hello world hi guys this is not your average guy and we are on the never mind your own YouTube channel and what we're gonna do today is a test because I am kind of fed up with this horizon problem from the Phantom it's never straight I always have to manually correct it and stuff and <clears throat> so I just want to know what it is and I'm gonna do everything that I am supposed to do like calibrating the IMU calibrating the compass and I discovered there is even a third thing you can calibrate and that is the gimbal nobody told me about that so maybe that needs to be done in order to get it straight so I got the leveler because we need it I also got this little thing it's also a gimbal I push this button and the horizon is straight I never have an issue with this I never have to calibrate this thing there is no IMU in here there is no compass in here but it's always straight so I'm gonna compare the results of the Phantom 4 with this little thing and this is a Feijutech from Feijutech what a name but it works perfect so let's see all right perfectly all right perfectly all right perfectly perfect 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 so this one is perfectly level okay now we go into the app it says everything is good cannot even get in here I have to click here it's green 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 and it's very small it has to be as small as possible so the IMU is good according to this thing nevertheless I'm going to do this calibration because it's perfectly leveled right now meanwhile I will get rid of everything that I have on me that is made of metal because when I'm going to do the, the compass calibration I cannot have any metal on me although I have small metal buttons on my pants but yeah I will put up my belt and my watch my watch too and I have to get rid of this camera too that's a pity because then I cannot even talk you will not hear me if I say something 95% calibration complete restart the aircraft okay put it out put it on again see what happens over here all right you see that they're even bigger they're bigger than they were <coughs> can you imagine I'm gonna recheck I did the calibration it's good it's good I did the calibration and they're even bigger than they were I should have left it like this because then they were smaller they say the smaller the better but anyway oh now they're smaller <laughs> yeah are you kidding me okay and the compass is very small too right now so basically this should be good nevertheless I'm gonna calibrate the compass all right I'm gonna put this camera over here I hope you can still hear me I have to turn this thing 360 degrees like this and now face the nose down 
then rotate it again. Let's have a look. Over here it says it's finished. Let's have a look. They were smaller a while ago, but maybe they will still go down. They're not going down. Whatever. They're green. I did the calibration. They should be good. Now, there is this third thing. Can you see me? And you can find it in the menu, but you can only find this when the Phantom is on. When it's off, you will not be able to find this. And that's this one over here. It's a gimbal menu. And you can adjust the gimbal roll. Let's, let's put this... I want to put this to zero. Or what? I cannot even do that. What is that? Auto calibrate. Check that the aircraft is level and nothing is obstructing the gimbal's range of motion. All right. So this thing has to be leveled again. All right, we're going to do the gimbal calibration. Don't move the aircraft. Well, I won't. I think it's finished. It is finished. Going to have another look here. Adjust gimbal roll. Ah, this one is zero now. That's good. Okay. What we can do is you go to the menu over here and then you can put the grid and like this because that may help see if the horizon is uh, correct. Well, the moment of truth is here now. All right, is the horizon straight? No, it is not DJI. It is not straight. I did everything you told me to do. It's not straight. What is it? I'm gonna manually correct them by pushing this button and this one. So I put the grid lines exactly on the horizon. It's like perfectly leveled now. Now I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna make one round. Looks good. We're gonna go up. I'm gonna look the other way. Now it looks it looks straight everywhere and even if I make a turn it it's it looks like it's straight everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna fly forward. Just just see and then just move around a little bit, make a turn.
turn around and you see not straight anymore it's not and now it it comes back a little bit Well, it's doing a, a, a lot better job and while I'm saying this you can see the horizon is not straight anymore. You see that? You just fly around a little bit and it's... And it doesn't come back now. I just go there, come back, turn around, horizon... And now I'm going to do my next test and that is this little camera. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang this thing under the drone like this. And then we're going to see if this thing will do a better job keeping the horizon straight than uh, my 1500 euro drone. This was like 300 euros. So I'm gonna do it like this. Let's see if, if this can do a better job. Look at that. I can easily handle this. The motors turn a lot louder, but I can't handle this. Okay, let's go up. Go forward. You see that? Just turn around. Look what I'm doing. I'm going sideways now. You see that? And that's, that's like an ultimate test. Whether it can keep the horizon straight or not. And then we, we can compare the footage. Yeah, what I will do, I will do this. I will just wiggle. Well, 
you know, that that is a test for the GoPro gimbal. Look what I'm doing. Yeah, I will do it like this. I think we got enough. Well, that was some test. The only thing is, I can only see the results at home when I got the footage from the GoPro. So, um, that's about it. Let's go home and see how it looks like. It's out. Seriously?